So this is the Happy Place podcast with myself, me, you, you, Richard. Hello. And I'm with you, Danny. Hello. Three guys putting the world to right, having a beer on a Thursday night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, I can hear someone's mouse. I don't like it. That is not my mouse. I can. He's sh- clicking. I haven't, I haven't touched my mouse since we started. I've stopped. That was blatantly you, Danny. But you tum- were you um, tumbling? Not tumbling. What's it called? Huh? Tripping. What's it called? That new thing where you can just click somewhere and it shows something new. I don't know. I don't know what you're on about. It's an app. I think it's called Google. No, it's an app. It's an app <laughs> that you have on your tool, t- t- tool bar. Your tool bar. And you stumble. Stumbling. Not, not oh, tumbling. stumble. Stumble upon. Yeah. yeah. yeah uh, no. Okay. No, I was just opening and closing new tabs in my... <laughs> in my uh, just random tabs. My uh, In Google Chrome. Yeah, just opening and closing them. Let me just close. There we go. I'm done. Um, so what what you guys been up to? It's been a while since I've spoken to you. I'm looking at you, Rich. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I'm currently uh, in the process of tidying up my home studio because it's in a complete mess. It's in a complete shambles. And, uh, yeah, it's just kind of one of those things that you need to do, you know. Nice, nice. And I assume that studio is for recording this and playing our games. Yep, yep. It's uh, But, you know, it's, it's uh, good for the... Uh, work ethic to have a nice clean workspace. A clean studio is a clean mind. Exactly. I believe was uh, Confucius. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. Um, <laughs> uh, Danny, what's, what's up? Um, I am currently at war with my bank because they reckon I've been hacked. frauded, but they uh, yeah, I reckon I've been hacked, but they keep telling me they'll ring me, but they haven't. Ha- so ha- that's always fun. Hacks or, um, you're a film student, are you not? I am studying film in my first year, yes. Brilliant, how's that going? It's, uh, there's a lot of filming and um, editing, and I hate using Final Cut Pro, yeah. but I'm sure I'll get used to it eventually. Yeah, those Macs, they, they can set you back quite a bit. <laughs> they, they, they set you back quite a bit indeed. They can yeah. really bust your balls. Um, and I've just been at work in the warehouse that I work at. Nothing fun to say there. Um, yeah, so... Uh, We'll get a few stories, we'll have a few beers, see what happens down the line. If people like it, we'll carry on. If not, we'll just play the games. But um, yeah, our other YouTube account, which will be linked to this video and multiple other click videos. Click below. Yep, click below. Or click here on the screen, maybe. There might be a little bit. Um, will be any game we'll do. And we'll be playing old games, um, some unplayed games that most other people aren't playing and covering some of the big game reviewers. And uh, we'll be doing some of the games that they do do. Uh, just basically any game that we find fun. Because we're different. Because uh, any game will do. Any game will do, yeah. It doesn't matter how... Graphics are not important at all in my world. In fact, sometimes they, get, they destroy a good gameplay, in my opinion. They take away from it. Mm. Sometimes. So please check out our first video where we'll be uh, all playing Day of the Tentacle. <laughs> Day of the Tentacle? Is that some sort of tentacle porn? Dude. Uh, God, I hope it is. God. Also... If you can recommend any games for us, oh, yeah, t- don't hesitate not totally, to. Totally, totally. I'd love to. I'd love to be playing some new games. G- games from the grapevine that we don't seem to be a part of. Yeah, uh, we seem to have fallen out of contact. Oh, with. It's been a while since I've gamed. You know, I, I play the occasional bit of games. I think my girlfriend plays more games than me. That is quite highly possible. I play Guild Wars Two right now. I think is the only game I play. What's your name on there in case people want to add you? Uh, it is uh, Leekachu. Oh, Leekachu. Uh, nice. Yeah, so don't worry about that. I've got another character called Leekachu in, but I never really play as him. I, th- I think people were a bit worried, but I think you've just put their minds at ease. <laughs> yeah. I think it's good that you've done that. <laughs> well, I, I like to reassure people. Putting out fires. Um, okay, so we're going to go on to the first proper segment, and that's random sh- <laughs> Just... Um, Random stories that we've experienced or can think of. Richard, you were about to tell us a story, weren't you, about your barber? Well, it's not like... Well, more of an anecdote. It's not like a big deal. It's Well, it kind of is, because I never talk to a barber. I don't, I, it just feels weird. I mean, do either of you two go to the barbers? I haven't had my hair cut by a barber all professionally for about 10 years. I always cut just it myself here. or my, my girlfriend at the time. 
like my girlfriend now cuts it, or I get my parents to do it if I'm not with a girl at the time. My hair doesn't necessarily require one. Okay, well that's... Sorry, continue though. That's fair enough, right. So I probably go to the barbers like once a month. Um, yeah. How much does that cost you? Seven pound. For what? Back, sack and crack? <laughs> <laughs> do you get the whole job while you're there? Yeah. Yeah. Now, what do you get? Do you, do you walk in and just go short back and sides or something? Yeah, basically. Yeah? I have, to, believe me, I have tried to save money and I have tried to do it myself, but it just looks like a mess. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you display pictures, anything to go. If, oh, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. No, but so, uh, so, so what was what was the whole banter with the... So, so you don't normally talk to a barber, but... Yeah. I, I, I just, I don't know, I just find it an unusual sort of interaction... Even though, essentially, at the end of the day, it's just you talking to another person. It just feels mm. like when you sit in that chair and they're shaving your head, you should be quiet. Mm. <laughs> well, it's like um, it's forced conversation. You don't want to distract them. Yeah. It does feel weird. But um, anyway, I, I didn't initiate the conversation. It was actually the... Uh, well, it was a lady who was shaving my head today. Oh, so you were conversation raped? <laughs> yeah, I was taken by surprise. <laughs> by the sound of it. We call it creped. Statutory conversation. Creped. <laughs> <laughs> Statutory conversation. Brilliant. Nice. I love that. Okay, ca- carry on. So what, what happened? Yeah, just basically probing into my life, asking me, had I been to work? This was, Bear in mind, let, let me just... You know she's judging you there, don't yeah, you? Yeah, proper. Don't you pro- so. Probably. Um, she had, this is like one o'clock. So had I been to work? Hmm... Well, you could have a day job. What, two till six, I think, is the normal afternoon shift? Two till... It'll be two... T- is it that, two till, two six? till six isn't a very long shift that, at all. <laughs> four four <laughs> hours. <laughs> it's like, oh, i just got to go to work, right, I'm done. <laughs> well, for a cleaner, actually, that's not untrue. I'd imagine, like, it'd be, like, two till twelve or no, something it's two till weird. Eight. It's two till eight, I think. Six, six hours. hours. Six hours, yeah, that sounds about right. Okay. Well, then, like, so I told her that I was looking for a job... Because, well, I am. That's she just stopped cutting your hair and said, give me a new <laughs> patient. <laughs> patient. <laughs> of all the words. Sorry, she stopped cutting your hair. I'll stop interrupting now. I'm going to shut up. And then, um, just, oh, what was... See, you keep breaking my concentration and now I've lost my train of thought. So, Rich, 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 do you regularly go to the same place? Uh, yeah, I do. But it's, it's mostly uh, male barbers so when you walk right. in do they instantly know what you want <laughs> no is it like a cheer situation where you just walk in and everyone just says your name yeah <laughs> I just go- <laughs> <laughs> do they stand up and applaud is there a standing ovation for you do you go down a storm yeah there's when a you get to the barbers canned, <laughs> canned clapping and clan laughter when I uh, on the wall in the background is there a poster of you with best cut to date <laughs> Yeah, they. I no. I just walk in. I nod my head, and they nod their head, and then they know. So what did they do? <laughs> get, get to the get to the information. What did they do? Did they do a bad cut? What happened? She Basically, talked to you. is that is that your problem? No. <laughs> yeah. You don't like being talked to. I you don't, don't like being spoken. To. <laughs> I don't like social interaction. I don't know why I'm doing this podcast. To be honest. <laughs> I don't know why you went to a barber's, to be honest. With you. <laughs> yeah. you sound like the type of guy who cuts his hair with like nail clippers in the window or something, in the reflection. With his fridge open for light. Anyway, she was <laughs> she was speaking to you and you were curled up, cut, like shaking. <laughs> so what happened after that? Yeah, I was curled up, going, "Oh my god, female social interaction." <laughs> so what happened? Continue, please. So 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 you said you were looking for a job. <laughs> yeah. And then she was like, oh, what are you working in? And then, you know, this is when you feel like you're being judged, is when you say, oh, I'm looking for a music industry-related job. Oh, God, yeah, I was dropping the M-bomb. Yeah, the old, oh, that's not a job. Musician, yeah. Hey, you yeah. should be busking on the streets begging for my money. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the looks, she's, I get them all the time. Yeah, she, she was looking down at her nose at me. <laughs> well, yeah, because uh, she was cutting your hair, and I imagine you were sitting down, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine that's why she was looking down her nose. But <laughs> anyway, the conversation continues. I'm not going to be able to finish this anecdote. Does it go anywhere interesting? Because I don't think you should. 
And then and then I'll finish my haircut and I'll lift. That's nice. the end of it. Oh, okay. So what did they give you? Um, mullet? <laughs> yeah. No, actually... Uh, flock of seagulls. <laughs> what? A flock, a of, flock seagulls? of seagulls? Yeah. I beg your pardon. <laughs> I don't care what you do with <laughs> seagulls. Don't mention it on my podcast. <laughs> Okay, that's that's the, that's the barber story. Okay, so so so. <laughs> sorry, I was, I was just sewing you until you stopped talking about. Yeah, go on. We had about. <laughs> yeah, we were waiting for you. I'm addicted to Vic Vapor Rub. <laughs> go on, this should be interesting. Full on addicted. I I apply it every night. Honestly, M- mo- oh, yeah. most most honestly. That then... that is lethal stuff. I think it's. Um... That is genuinely true as well. I think that's a class A drug, isn't it? The Vic Vapor well, It's 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 more because I started doing it because I had hay fever and like hay fever tablets weren't working. And my brother. You started he... using Vic Vapor Rub for hay fever. Listen, listen. This is how intelligent my brother <laughs> is. Like. He does like physics and all that sort of shit. Yeah, he got the brains. Oh, this is he how t- intelligent he, your he, brother he is. Around. <laughs> he turned around. He turned around and said, "Apply some uh, Vaseline to you know, because it stops the spores from going up your nose. It catches them, or most of them, so you don't sneeze as much. So you don't, you know, yeah. it doesn't get congested, etc. And aggravated, which is what your nose is allergic to. Yes. So I yes, started, okay, so I started applying va- uh, blah, 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 uh, Vaseline. Then one day we ran out of Vaseline, so I started using Vic. And Vic also helps you breathe at the same time as doing the job as Vaseline." So, like, my haven just wasn't there at all. And this summer, the one that's just gone, I literally didn't take any haven with habits at all. I was I was just rubbing Vic on my nose and Vaseline, and it worked. I didn't sneeze. Well, I sneezed, but, you know, I wasn't as anywhere near as bad, like, you know, hospitalised by hay fever like I normally am. Like, I'm quite... Is I'm that quite possible? Blind. Is that but, even possible? Well, yeah, hosp- 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 hospitalisation is, because it's an allergic reaction. Of course it is, but... I wasn't, I'm not that bad, but you know what I mean, I was joking, but I wasn't as bad. I, I didn't have to stay inside all the time. I could go outside, I could do stuff, I could enjoy my summer, basically. Or what little of it we had, you know, although it was rainy, which might have accounted to the fact that I wasn't as bad. But still, when it was sunny, I wasn't as bad. So, yeah, Vic Vapor works for hay fever, trust. As long as you apply it liberally, you know what I mean? As long as you apply it liberally, yeah, so what? D- you just put it, you put it up your nose, all over your face. <laughs> Don't be conservative with the big vapor rub. Rub it everywhere, on your chest. That's my story, you know. What I mean? <laughs> Round your balls. It's it's no barber shop story. I'll give you that. But <laughs> <laughs> I've pretty much set the bar with the barber story, haven't I? Oh dear. So Danny, surely you must have an interesting anecdote. Come on. Um. No. Inter- no. I. No. Well, you are a massive letdown. <laughs> I, I can't think of anything. Uh, oh, I'll, 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 I'll give you a good story about God. him. It's probably one that he can't bounce off of because it's not that interesting. Okay, we well, put him. Can, listen, we put do him. Do you not think you should ask his permission? No, f*** him. We put him, a socially awkward man, with another socially awkward girl in the same room as a party. Well, a kind of gathering. And the social awkwardness of those two far exceeded the... Uh, the 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 partyness did the part did the party end early? There was the party had an aneurysm and had to be taken to hospital because of me. <laughs> <laughs> because of him and the the other social awkward, awkward person. It was brilliant. Who shall and the best thing was we were trying to set them up and they were both completely socially awkward. God, that was a rough time. So did you actually <laughs> ever see this? Lady I don't know again? how you ever find girlfriends, Danny, because you are really socially awkward. It's a f- miracle when I do. How, do. how do you manage it? Do you just literally crawl all over someone until they... Have you, have you not noticed my track record of mental people? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but how does it happen? <laughs> do they come onto you or do you come onto them? Because I'd love to know what you do. Uh, kind of, kind sure of like David Attenborough. I'd love to film you in the wild. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, I think it's me usually initiating the initial stages. Can you give me then... some of your moves? Because um, I haven't been in there in real time. Uh, no. I don't know. I don't know what I do. I genuinely don't know what I do. What, what happened with me with the last person in, and look at it's just, it's just magic. Is it's that what you're saying? It's, it's all about the fact that I've got a giant f- when it breaks down to it. Oh well. Well, how no, do they know that, that already? That. Well, you see, I wear extra tight like um, speedos. <laughs> <laughs> you wear light <lycra laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Wherever I am, even, even to I like... wear really tight f***ing pink speedos. Yeah. And then when I'm actually chatting to a girl, I rip off my trousers because I'm wearing popper tracksuit bottoms. 
I just oh, yeah. rip them off and I'm just stood there with this massive bulge. That sounds pretty effective, It actually. works. You should try it one day, Rich. Yeah, I should do. Just give it a shot. So, right. Uh, I mean, even though I've got... Even though I've got a girlfriend. But. Yeah, just, well, even if you're sat with her. Guys, I hope you don't mind. I'm going to interrupt this uh, thrilling conversation with, yeah, um, come on. with some happy news. <laughs> All right, you ready for this? This is good we're, news. We're, we're, this we're, is happy news. Okay, okay. Um, go on. Okay, so what do you want to hear? I'm going to, give you some, I'm going to shoot some headlines at you, and I want you to, um, I want you to rebound them to me. Okay, 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 okay. Go on. I'm going to give you about four. Three dead and head on collision. Right. Listen. Social network rescues MS patient from life of lack. Crowdfunding cure for cancer. Roman marble coffin found in bushes sells for $153,000. Junk hauler returns 114000 to owner of unaware. Okay. Which one do you want? All oh, right. What what is the source for these headlines? Sorry. Um, I will give you the source. It's the goodnewsnetwork.org. Oh. This time, it may be something else next time. <laughs> I I'm I am, I'm quite interested to hear about the whole. You, you'll you'll put, you'll put it in the link. Well, I'll put it in the link. In the in the um description. Sorry. Click below. Yep. Uh, so what do you want to hear? Social ne- uh, social network rescues MS patient, multiple sclerosis well, patient. Want, that I, is. I want to hear that. Crowdfunding. I want to hear that whoa, whoa. Crowdfunding. Yeah. A, crowdfunding. A cure for cancer. Roman marble coffin found in uh, bushes sells for 153,000. John Caller returns 114,000 to owner unaware she lost it. Rich. Right. Why was there a coffin in just some bushes somewhere? Um, I don't know, but that will be in the story. Is that what you want to hear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, go on. So that's John Caller tomorrow, yeah? John Caller Caller tomorrow. No, hang on. That's a different story. The Roman marble coffin is a different story to the drunk hauler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you mean, yeah, yeah, yeah? yeah. It's a different story. Yeah, yeah. Which one do you we, want? We, yeah, no, no. I, I want the coffin one now, yeah, and then we can do I, the drunk hauler one I, some other time. So you want the drunk hauler for dinner, and then you want the other one for afters? Pudding. Okay, <laughs> pudding. pudding. Yeah, okay. All right, okay, this is the drunk hauler. A Massachusetts drunk hauler this weekend valued honesty over profit when he decided to return thousands of dollars worth to worth of bonds to a homeowner who had hired him to take away what she thought was junk. Inside an old trunk, she, he discovered an envelope containing 21 Class E United States saving bonds from 1972 worth today over $114,000. So that one wasn't really that interesting. Mm. Good. Uh. Good for her. You know what I mean? But not happy news. Not for everyone. No, it wasn't... Um it's just for that guy. And he's, well, I suppose it's good to know that there's people like that left in the world. So what was the other one you wanted to hear? Roman marble coffin. Yeah, yeah. Go on. A Roman marble coffin, which was spotted in the bushes of a garden in England, has sold at auction for £96,000, uh, which obviously translate roughly to $153,000. Uh, the seven-foot sarcophagus from the second century was being used as a trough to stand flowers in. Until <laughs> until its significance was recognised by an auction valuer, Guy... <laughs> Sh- <laughs> oh, no, sorry. An auction valuer, Guy Schwinge Sh- is his name. Right. Guy Schwinge. Right. No, sorry, no, not, not auction valuer, Guy. Auction valuer, so there's a comma, Guy auction Schwinge. Valuer, no, there comma. is no comma. V- uh, valuer, up. Guy Schwinge, who was estimating the property in Dorset. Dorset, that's down south, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely. So, yeah, 96,000, 96, that'll do me. Is that where it stops? Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. It's nice, isn't it? It's nice. To, it's nice to know that there's actually like people like if you. Uh, That's what good blah, news blah, blah, blah. is about. You know what I mean? Bad news is all about oh, bad people out there. Oh, oh god, oh. I don't want to go outside. <laughs> but good news is about oh, I want to go outside because there's people that want to help people <clears> and nice things are going to happen if I go outside. Rich, what what are your feelings on this? On uh, what? Sorry. On the good news that I just read out. Ah, uh, it's fantastic. You can quote. You can quote me on that if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Some <laughs> soul called Rich N said it was fantastic. <laughs> news of the day. <laughs> news of the day. <laughs> is, that, is that a real paper? <laughs> no. Um, Danny, you got any random shit you want to talk about? Put the world to rights on a Thursday night. No. No. I've got one. I've got one. 
Um, I don't like I don't like the name Boyd. Uh, yeah. Boyd. I don't know how it's spelled, but I don't like the name Boyd, and I also don't like the name uh, Boy. Boy. I don't like I don't like guys that are called Boy or Guy, in fact. Yeah. Guy, Boy, and Boyd. I don't like those names. I don't know why. That that really is a quite random like thing to say. I, uh, I was just thinking about it, and I thought I had to get it off my chest. I don't like the name Boyd, Boy, or Guy. Yeah. Well, I think calling your kid boy or guy is the least unimaginative thing you could do. And also, you never see girls or women called girl or woman. Do you think there's any correlation between names and people's personalities? Like, for example, from before you answer, I think I don't think I've ever actually been friends or liked someone that was called um, Mark, other than, of course, the Mark we know on the internet. But in in actual person, like people that I've met called Mark, I haven't liked. They've always been a bit annoying. They they always seem a bit cocky to me. Marks are always cocky. Um, Callum's I find to be friendly, but um, unfriendable with me. And Steve's as well. I've never oh, got God. on with anyone. Anyone called Steve, I've never got on. But isn't your dad called <laughs> <Yeah>. Steve? <laughs> Yeah, my dad's called Steve, so... Uh, yeah, but I, I get on with your dad, but that's only because you're my friend and we've got the same name and birthday. That's true. But other than that, I mean, I don't think we'd be friends if it wasn't for that. Oh, God, no, I f***ing hate you. Because, like, I, f- I think that's that's how we met, isn't it? It like, is, yeah. We had the same names, in, same birthdays, went to the same school. Yeah, met in science class, I believe. Mm. Which was fun. Yeah. So I managed to fail science even more than I would have if I'd have been alone. Well, exactly. <laughs> But we, we did it in style. We did. And then me and you met in college, didn't we, Rich? Yep. Studying music. Well, technically technically university. Um, held at a college campus, um, which was quite fun. Rich was working as a waitress in a cocktail bar when I Lee met him. Met him. <laughs> yeah. Don't you love me, baby? <laughs> I was don't you want me, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, what a complete fail that was. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> so, so that's that. Well done. Put, put, we put that <laughs> to right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God we've settled everyone's ears. Yeah. So that's my name thing that I don't like. Um, I'm trying to think of other stuff. What, what else has bothered my mind today? I get a lot of free time to think during work because I package cheese, just for anyone that wants to know. We, we don't even make it, we just kind of pack it. And um, I get a lot of time, I, I work a 10 hour shift, four days a week, so one on packing the cheese. There's a lot of time to reflect on life and think about the world. You sound like a gangster. Really? Just pack it, <coughs> packing the what, cheese. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what gangster do you know from <laughs> Gangster Film Pack where they pack cheese? Packing the cheddar, bro. <laughs> 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 oh, I see. You mean modern day gangster, not not actual classic oh, gangster, yeah. not like not like nineteen forties with gangster, the with no. the Molotovs. <laughs> Every gangster has a Molotov. But yeah, I, I reckon they do Molotovs, and they drink. Um, what's the, what's it? James Bond drinks. Uh, martini. Martini, yeah, martini. They all do that. They all wear suits, of course. They all have a Tommy gun. Yeah, and they all ride around in those nice fancy cars. Exactly, and they never drive it themselves. They've always got a driver. Yeah, who also has a Tommy gun. <laughs> have you have you watched any watched any movies recently? Um. Any any films that you'd like to comment on? Well, I know you're both movie buffs, so I'm sure there's there's I'm sure there's movies you'd like to talk about. Criticisms, no, criticisms of the new movies or old movies that might be classed as controversial. Uh, did I? I watched Tokyo Gore Police today. That was a. Um, that sounds like some sort of B movie. It's like a well, it's like a quite low budget Japanese kind of. Everything might be Chinese, don't need. Need. Um, <laughs> it was. Tokyo yeah, gives it yeah, away. I, th- I think that was the big. Yeah, the big, the big clue. But yeah, basically, there's all these like, there's like this virus that infects people, turns them into zombies, not zombies, zombies. And, um, oh, zombies, not zombie zombies. Yeah. They're the worst f***ing type of zombies. The f***ing, the, you know, the um, the 28 Days Later zombies that aren't zombies, but they're zombies. But, um, 
Yeah, and They're basically effective. there's a woman with a samurai sword going around killing them for an hour and a half. Oh, so Kill Bill, but... So Kill Bill, but Japanese, and with a lot Kill more Bill blood. Kill Bill in Tokyo with a zombie on her back. Yeah. <laughs> that's, um, that's what, sounds like High School of the Dead. That's what we're looking oh, at. God, yeah. Oh, God, yeah, High School of the Dead. So, sounds like every fucking zombie film, like, in my opinion. Yeah, it's not really zombie zombie, but it's like zombie zombie. Resident zombie. Evil, you know, Resident Evil with God. a fucking samurai sword. But, um, so yeah. Any other movies? that you've got gripes about? This can be the movie gripe se- section. <laughs> the movie gripe section. The movie gripe section, yeah. Okay. Um, final Destination films? Not seen them. Not oh. seen them. Go on. Um, I think it was an interesting concept that's just being regurgitated for the sake of it now. Yeah, but that's like... We could say the same about Saw, about really. any film, really, mm. that has a sequel. Well, that's the problem with sequels yeah. is they realise that something's good and they kind of... They yeah, rape it of all originality. Drag it on for too long sometimes. Exactly, yeah. I mean, my problem with films is mainly remakes. I, just yeah. see, I don't see, I don't oh, see yeah. why a film need, calls for remaking. No, no, there's a lot of films what, that don't. What right that someone, modern producer, has to say that you did that wrong and I'm going to redo it or to redo it and make it look better in HD or something. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's very few remakes that actually did. I thought the Dawn of the Dead remake was okay. Yeah? Yeah, that wasn't bad. That was okay. Um, like, imagine, imagine for example, it always seems to be, like, mainly horror movies in, that I've, I've found, yeah. horror and adventure, really. Yeah. But can you imagine someone remaking The Shawshank Redemption? <laughs> like, like, okay, now we're going to get... Who's a, who's a new up and coming or like um, uh, quite a fresh faced young uh, male actor? So not Brad Pitt because he's been used now. He's used and spat at the other end. He's lost his six pack. Oh. He's a douchebag. Um, jo- that guy Joseph Gordon Lovett. Who's Levitt, he? I recognise the Lovett or Levitt, but I don't. Uh, I think he was in Inception. He's in the new Batman right. film. Okay, so he's an up and coming oh, male actor. It's no, it's the kid off a of third rock from the sun. Oh, yeah, what the it? young boy who was in um fifty f- um ten F- things I hate about you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, well, okay. Imagine him. Are you sure not thinking of Heath Ledger? No, Heath Ledger's dead. But he was also in ten no, things. He I was in yeah, ten. No, he was the main yeah. character. He was the love interest. But the young kid, his mate. Was um, the kid was from, from, from the sun. sun? Yeah, no, brilliant, brilliant program. God, I but love yeah, imagine, from the okay, sun. imagine him now playing. Uh, what is his name in uh, Shawshank Redemption? I've completely forgot. Uh, Andy Dufresne. Andy Dufresne, yeah. Imagine him playing Andy Dufresne, <laughs> and then like I don't know. Um, There's literally no one else that could play the it? other role. Is sorry. There? Uh, well, I'm trying. I'm trying to think of someone that can play the role of yeah Samuel L. Jackson, mm. <laughs> his role. Isn't Morgan Freeman? That, that was in Morgan Freeman. Oh Redemption. shit! What is Sam Samuel Jackson? Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> is he the snakes on the plane? Yeah. <laughs> I've had it with this mother yeah. <laughs> Shawshank. <laughs> I've had it with this mother <laughs> prison. I'll get you fucking <laughs> anything. <laughs> but uh, it's kind of like sending in Denzel Washington to replace Morgan Freeman. Yeah. Well, no, Denzel Washington is quite used now, in my mm. opinion. I'm, I'm, I'm very. My, my attention span of actors is very short it's like sending him 50 cent to replace 50 cent no even he's washed yeah. up what 50 cent washed up what's 50 cent under the last f***ing he's only done like, like two what's, films no what's 50 cent under the last two years album I haven't heard an album by 50 cent no I don't even Dre's has. even Dre's come back and Eminem and 50 cent hasn't released any. but anyway back to the point um, a young a young black man up and rising it has to be black because you know the, the, the part's black they remade um Dr. Doolittle, but like they would, like they only. <laughs> Who played the remote? Uh, that was um, that was the Eddie Murphy one. Like it's originally like a, a musical from like the. There you go. Sisters, yeah. Eddie Murphy in the Shawshank <laughs> Redemption. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really, a, it's not really a comedy <laughs> role, is it? <laughs> what are you talking about, Dufresne? <laughs> He'd be like, <laughs> "That's Gary <laughs> Coleman." No, because he, he has a funny laugh on him, doesn't he? He goes, <laughs> "I would you talk yeah. about? <laughs> what you Dufresne, talking about? I'll Dufresne? get you in." <laughs> <laughs> what? 
What are you talking about, <laughs> Willis? <laughs> That's Gary Coleman. No, oh God. Yeah, we're on yeah. about his, his role yes. as Donkey. Yeah, you fool. What are you talking about, Shrek? Oh, <laughs> right. Come on, Shrek. Okay, <laughs> Come on, Shrek. <laughs> 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 Good impression, guys. I, I like to work on my impressions, but yeah, okay. Remakes don't like them. Never will. Don't think yeah. I ever have. Oh, ju just uh, funny you mention actually uh, horror and remakes because they're bringing out the Texas Chainsaw Massacre for like the yeah, second time. The third remake or whatever. The third remake, yeah, because I I know the f original Hold and on. I've seen the second one. Yeah, it's fucking three D as well. I am yeah. fair with 3D shit. I don't. Mm. I've just bought a HD television, not recently, but when I bought it, the 3D television came out, and I was like, it took me two years to get around to buying a HD television. I think after it was released, or like maybe even more than that, and then they straight away they'd released the 3D one, mm. and now they've released one. Like I think it's two years since the 3D release of a, a, a TV 3D TV release. They've now made a TV mm. which is like. I forgot what they call it now, but it's like it's bendable. It's like on a piece of smart it's smart like it's on TV a piece of paper or something. Flexi TV. Flexi TV or something like that, but you can bend it, you can fold it. You can shape it's it. Not, you it's can not mold it's not it's not released to public, I don't think, but What happened to the um and they were gonna have them in loads of bars and stuff where you touch the screen on the bar and you can order drinks and Oh, the touch screen bars, they do have yeah. those, mainly in America. I don't I think they probably got them at like places like the Spearmint Rhino or something like that. Yeah, yeah. In, in like in London and sort of places like that, but I don't think they're like popular. They're mental and all light like up and thousands stuff. Thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds. Yeah, I imagine it's a big like casino novelty thing, but god, they look good. Yeah, they do look good. I've seen them where you can like flick them. They add them on the gadget show or something. You can like choose your order from a menu and flick it, and it gets delivered to the PC that they're on wirelessly. So that um, <laughs> the like the till, it would be a PC slash till, and it would get you, know, you flick your order, and it goes to that, and then they receive it from there. But imagine in the future when everyone's ordering, they there'd be no need for menus, yeah. and then you've just got like there'll be no need so for eye contact soon. Well, there isn't now, really. Yeah. If you live our sort of life. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Talking over a computer. <laughs> in three separate locations. In fact, if I didn't go to work or have a girlfriend, I would just be looking at a computer all day. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if I didn't have to break up my day somehow, I'd slowly dissolve into my laptop. It's not good, man. It's where the world's going. It's, uh, it's not fantastic, is it? I look at my screens and they just, like... They blind me with hatred. <laughs> <laughs> sexy, it's sexy hatred. Self-loathing. Um, okay, so that's... I think that's the random segment pretty much going over. That's um, the random and the film segment gone over. Oh, that film segment. Bloody hell, that <laughs> passed quite quite fast. Oh, music. How, how can we leave music out? I think the music... The tune of my week slash month... I think it's probably going to have to be month because... I, I, actually, I do think it was released this week or next week. November, I think, is getting a release. Is um, Even though it's quite an old song itself, is Bastille Floors. Floors. I think that's a brilliant tune. Fantastic song. Been listening to it non-stop for weeks. Yep, I showed it you. Yeah, you did, which I thank you yeah. very much for. And yeah, now and, I'm and, and BBC Radio 1 showed it to me at yeah. work. and Brilliant. Absolutely also, can I thing. add, Guy wears an Eraserhead t-shirt in that, and they've got a song called Laura Palmer, so they're big David Lynch fans, so... Oh, brilliant. They're I've okay with me. Yeah. Brilliant. Um, that's my tune of the week. I think they're brilliant. I think they're going to definitely go somewhere. Um, mm. They've got my backing, as, as much as that's worth. As much as it's worth, yeah. Um, Rich, do you have a tune of the week? It can be anything, though. It doesn't have to be uh, in the charts or anything. Well... I the most of the stuff I listen to isn't in the charts and hasn't ever been in the charts. That's good. It could still be a tune of the um, week. Give it a pump, man. Give it a free pump. There's nothing against the law saying you can't oh. advertise it. I don't know. I'm listening to a lot of industrial music. Lately. Brilliant. What are you listening to? Um, Give us a tune. One that you really like. Any tune by Combi Christ. Oh God, Combi Christ. Yeah. Don't know him. Do you like them? Yeah, man. I love Combi Christ. Don't know him. Don't know him at all. They're, they're like a kind of weird kind of... I don't know, a lot of like the cyber goth people listen to them as well. Right. Cool. Um, yeah, you can probably describe them better than I can, Rich. Yeah, they're a bit like um, industrial slash techno. Uh, it's like danceable industrial music. Danny, any any tunes you want to pump? Don't pump us still, because we, we, did, we did them.
Oh, really? ourselves for the past couple of days and f me it's amazing let's not shit ourselves there you go um okay we're gonna s go straight ahead to the the games that we're gonna be playing this week um we're gonna start off small we've been playing a lot of minecraft a lot of minecraft um i think we've still all yet to get trying to i've got it i am saving up for trying to at the moment yeah um rich have you managed to get trying to yet or I have actually just bought. Oh, have you? Two. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. Um, yeah, we've got we've got other games. Left for Dead Two, which we're probably gonna only play the um, modded maps and stuff like that, custom maps. I'm, oh, I'm not really yeah. interested in playing the game because I I played the hell out of it on um, Xbox. Mm. Is it the second one a... that's got the portal mod, where you go into yeah, the portal? Yeah, 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 yeah. It is. God, yeah. yeah we're gonna be doing that then. Yeah, yeah, we need to get on that. Even though it's been done to death, I think we should I don't give a shit. I want to do that put map. Own, We're yeah, doing that own, map. Put our own little <laughs> comedy spin on it. I don't yeah. know. We'll do some of it. Um, oh, yeah, and also the old games we're going to be playing. Um, we've got Arcanum, which we need to get around to playing. We still haven't figured out how to oh, get yeah. the multiplayer... Um, well, sorry, I haven't figured out how to get the multiplayer campaign on it yet. We can get the multiplayer working. That's not a problem. The multiplayer campaign is like a hack. Right. And um, I've tried to the very end. I, I, I can get it worked to m for me, and I've given Rich the exact same files over SkyDrive, but we can't get. We can't for get some it reason, going. we can't find each other, and we're using Hamachi, and we tried we try doing all sorts of shit, basically, and we couldn't get it to fucking work. So we're going to have to come back and visit that when I've got a bit of spare time, probably over Christmas, because I think I've got a week off before Christmas and after, so we'll probably sort that out then. Um, Legend of Mir 2 is the one I'm looking forward to the most, and the one we're going to be doing. Pretty much straight after this podcast, done for the rest of the week, most likely. Yes, yeah, definitely. Um, it's an old game, an old Korean game. I'll just skim over it really quickly. An old Korean game it was massive in Korea. Then it came over to the Europe, I think, first before it went over to the States, and it got pretty huge over here. I think it had like thirty thousand people at one point on a server, which is a lot for a um, Korean game over here. You should here, probably say the release date as well to put this into perspective. Oh, uh, two thousand and three sort of time like really like, I'm 23 now um, I was 13 when I was playing it so yeah about 10 years ago 10 maybe t just under 10 years ago probably Everyone about was nine. still 56k in back then yep 56k and that's how I was playing it and I lagged to f and I still managed to um, I still managed to be one of the highest level healers on there there was three classes healer warrior and uh, wizard you could be female and male of both classes obviously and it was at the time the best RPG, and that's just not me saying it. Like a lot of people are saying it now to today's standards. You know, most people don't want to play it, but I still think it trumps RuneScape, and that's still going. You know what I mean? I f I think it's so, way better than RuneScape. Yeah, that's just my opinion, I guess. We used to play private servers, which still exist today, and that's how we're going to be playing it. And um, just to mention it, because I'll mention it on the video as well that we do, which you can find over again on the link below on any game we'll do, our other YouTube gaming channel. We'll, um, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, <laughs> 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 um, no, I was going to show you, um, yeah, over on our other channel. Um, any game will do click uh, below our, our, our gaming channel yeah click below um, we'll have um, I'll also if people demand or ask enough I'll show you how to set up a Mir 2 server original files I'll also host the files for you because I don't believe that it's illegal or if it is then you know many people have done it and, or I'll just show you where to get it from whatever and then also what I'll be willing to do is um, there's no server starter anymore which there used to be about 10 years ago for the private servers. I wrote a script which sh opens and shut down the server. So if anyone's interested in that, I'll host it and you can download that batch file for free. It's pretty easy to write, but if you can't be bothered, then you know it'll be there. And along with a tutorial of how to set up the game and the video. And if you used to play Mia, reminisce. Oh yeah, totally. If you used to play Mia, hit me up. I used to, I used to be called Mighty Stan. I was a Taoist uh, slash healer. And um, I was I was like literally one of the highest levels on the Dragon's Dragon server. Um, I still play games today, and I still love Mir today. But I'm also on other games, and now my gaming name has changed to Newfan One One Two One. And um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see if you remember me from the game. I was as I said, I was on the Dragon server on the Phoenix server. You won't remember me, and these two will not know what the fuck I'm on about right now. Smiley face. Nope. <laughs> 
because uh, you've just introduced me yeah. to it and I actually um, we've done sort of like a few test mm. runs yeah. to on get the you game now well, and uh, yeah. yeah and I'm really enjoying it uh, I used to play a couple of games like it back in the day uh, MU Online Prince of Quinn if you've heard of any of MU those MU Online was that is that abbreviated or uh, well, it might be I don't know I'd I don't know what it stood for, no. though. Um, but it was basically like, kind of like one of those hack and slash RPG. Oh, right. okay. things, so, you, so, you, you know. so you rate um, Mid too? Then you think it's all right? Definitely, it, it, yeah. I'm really enjoying it. Do you think back in it. the day, if you'd have known about it, you would have been quite big on it? Probably. Probably a bit pretty good. Yes. Six pound a month, <laughs> which like, meh, at the time wasn't that expensive. Really? It was six so pound a month. Well, not, people pay nine pound a month now for World of Warcraft or something to that effect. More, even more, possibly. Yeah, so, so, well, yeah, I don't, I've never played Warcraft and never will. But um, yeah, me, the, the last of the good RPGs, in my opinion, MMORPGs. It's just my two cents. Danny, what do you think of it? Me, yeah, loving it so far. Love. Good, big on it. Yeah, love giving my meat to Daisy. Love, um, you know. Nice. Love we'll um, trying to find the. Uh, Trying to find out where the fuck all the different shops are. Um, we're, everyone we're gonna looks be, the same. Yeah, which is we're fun. gonna <laughs> we're gonna be cheating a little bit because um, obviously in the original um, Europe servers there was um, thousands and thousands of people, so there was items all over the place. People selling stuff all the time, markets, um, guilds, and that sort of stuff. People giving stuff, finding stuff, killing people higher levels than you, killing things, getting higher level items for you, and selling it for a cheaper price, all that sort of stuff. So you didn't have to bother. But um, obviously there's only going to be three to maybe four or five of us at one point, depending on if my girlfriend and our friend Mark comes and plays, which I hope they do. That will be a joy. Um, the more exactly the merrier. The more the merrier. If anyone actually sees the series and if it gets popular wants to come and play with us, you're more than welcome I was going to say, if you want to come and join us. and I would, I would love to meet some old faces or even some new faces to me. It would be a pleasure to uh, introduce them to such a brilliant game. But yeah, we're going to be cheating a little bit. I'm going to be a GM, but I'm not going to have God Mode on. And I will be creating items to start with until we get powerful enough to kill the, the monsters that actually provide good items. But yeah, that's enough about Mia. Um, what other games you, have we got? Uh, trying to, as, as we said, trying but we to, haven't yeah. really got round to that. Uh, Minecraft, which we've been playing for ages, and we've made God. like a few test videos. I think... I think the whole Minecraft thing is like pretty much done and dusted. And if anyone watching this disagrees with that, then I'd love to hear some any any bright ideas that you can think of to come up with some new things to record. Yeah. It's hard but to I try and think of new ideas to do a Minecraft because everyone's done everything that's everyone's ever possible. Everything. Exactly. Even though it's, it's still like expanding, it's still kind of. When I sit on um when I sit on um Minecraft as like a game and think like right I'm about to click the record button what are we going to do it's kind of like writing a song with a, an acoustic guitar it's like what can I possibly say or what can I possibly play that hasn't been done or played before mm. and it's like it's quite sad really because I shouldn't really think that like I should just go for it and we should we should, you know we should just press record and enjoy ourselves which we do which we, I fucking love Minecraft we I don't do. think I, I'm I going to get bored it, of it but my god coming up with something new Coming up with something that people are going to want to watch. I think we'll probably just end up playing the original Minecraft because we did get onto Tech It for a bit, didn't we? Yeah, God, Tech It's there. Oh, that's too much. That's yeah. <laughs> I, th I think we'll play Minecraft, the original, and we'll just record us mucking about. And if people like it, they like it. If not, there's millions of other games out there that we play and are willing yeah, to play, yeah. sort of thing. So I think that's the main thing to take from that. Um, has anyone been to Camden before? Yep. Yep. How did you find it? I liked it, but I didn't like the prices. <laughs> what, the prices of what? Like, yeah, what everything. You, what, did you go there looking Camden. for bongs? or? I, I went there looking for... Um, Love? A, uh, no, I don't know what I was looking for. I was looking for... Actually, no, it's not bad. I went there looking for a camo jacket, and I got one for like seven quid, so I can't really argue. Has anyone else seen the statues of all the different horses in Camden? I've seen two of them, because it used to be a horse something or other. My friend was telling me about it. Um, it used to be a horse. Was it? I want to say factory, but it obviously wasn't a horse factory. Market. Was it a horse market? Was it? Yep. Okay. Well, yeah, I've seen them. Yeah. Good. I had my picture taken next to one of them. There's a picture of me next to one, and like I don't know, I kept calling it the crying horse because it looked like um, a sad horse. <laughs> yeah, it looked like it was crying all the time. God, did I love people, that horse. Did loads of people take? Did you have dreads when you went to Camden? Uh, yeah. 
did um, loads of people start taking photos of you? Yeah, 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 like all like, the time. I, I know you like you told me before about people in London taking photos of you, like tourists taking photos of you. Yeah. Um, like I think I think you mentioned at the time when you told me it was like mainly uh, well one specific incident it was like Chinese people taking a photo of you or your yeah. friends. Yeah, yeah. Um, but when I went to Camden, I had um, pink hair at the time. And I just had like a random student from like around the area, around the the, the center. I think she went to um, college or university in the center of London, and uh, she wanted a picture of me for our art project, which I didn't know what that was about. But obviously, if you're going to take pictures of weird-looking people or alternative-looking people, should I say, then Camden's probably the best place to go. Yeah. But um, she did. She took a photo of me. I didn't mind. And then a few more people took a photo after me. That, and they did look like tourists. But I was just surprised to see someone that didn't look very touristy and actually went to college and university taking photos of people but it is completely overpriced i totally agree with you mm. very 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 overpriced nice yeah. though good day out yeah very yeah it's day. nice to spend some time there i wouldn't go there from here but because i was in london anyway i went to camden it was a very very good experience went to soho the day after didn't enjoy that as much <laughs> yeah so so yeah, any points of interest that you guys have been to? I haven't been abroad at all other than France when I was younger. I went to Paris and I hated it and I couldn't understand people and I wanted to come back straight away. I think I got ill. I got so excited, I got ill. <laughs> I, I like I got so worked up about going to Disneyland and going abroad that I actually, something happened to my immune system or something and I just spent the whole time throwing up and I had to go to a French hospital. And, oh um, man, that sucks. Yeah, I know, and I actually, I think I only like had one day at Disneyland, whereas we had the whole weekend booked, <laughs> like <laughs> fr- three days in the morning, like the Monday morning. Um, I think I only spent one proper day there, and I like, hated it. I hated the hotel. I hated everything about it. I would not go abroad again unless I absolutely had to. I just don't need to, and I, at the moment I don't want to. And I'm sure I will in the future. But um, have you guys, uh, Danny, you've been to Magaluf, haven't you? Oh god, yeah. Um, which, is, which is, if you don't mind me saying, before you tell your tales, quite odd for you because, like, most people that I see going to IB for slash those sorts of places, are up for a rave, uh, like you know, tops off, tans, fake tan on them ready, even though they're going to get a tan over there. Shorts. <laughs> it's summer. They're loving it, and you are, if you don't mind me saying, <laughs> very much the um, the polar opposite, the axodotal of the uh, <laughs> of the alternative of the rave scene of the. <laughs> The accident of the racing. If you don't know what that is, look it up on Google. It's f-ing hilarious. But yeah, carry on. Sorry. Yeah, f-ing hell. and like the the entire time I was there, I was a uh, good old traditional straight edge as well. So I didn't drink, and I was there for two weeks. And f-ing Jesus, me. how can you go there and not drink? If you're straight edge. So you mainly took life shit anyway. And so then you if you don't drink speed. and you're in the middle of my <laughs> love and you don't fit in with anyone, life's even shit. Oh, f- that was terrible. So what did you do? I read a lot. Man, imagine that. <laughs> what a boring bastard. <laughs> you you read in Magaluf? Uh, yeah, I read um, actually the fruits basket um, mangas. Yeah, the fruit basket mangas. Oh, good. I haven't read many mangas actually. Well, I think the fruits heard. basket ones are really good. I've read the battle royale ones as well. They're very good. But apart from that, Rich, have you been to abroad? Anywhere abroad? Nice. Well, yeah, France is... Where did you go in France? Well, the first time I went to France was when I was doing business studies in sixth form. And um, they took us to uh, Disneyland Paris. Right. We were, we had to attend seminars. uh, And um, after after we'd like attended the seminar, basically we could go and do anything. Uh, as long as it was inside the park. Well, that's that what well, you know. What I mean, if you don't mind me interjecting, that's like the dream of the sixth form student slash high school student when they get to go abroad on trips. They have the you know they have like two hours doing something with the teachers there and blah blah blah, and then they have the rest of the time just doing whatever they want. And then one of them usually comes back pregnant, and the other one comes back you know in a coffin or something like that. That's that is the high school slash college dream of going to abroad for the <laughs> thing. Is it not? Is it you know? I I I think even at our school. There were people um, like that, you know, just getting getting off abroad for the sake of it. People who would never speak to each other before or after the trip. 
Yeah, fucking like that, that is the you know the in betweeners type type mm. situation. Yeah, that was what school was like. Lich, I think like I said like to quite a few people, in betweeners is the most accurate representation of school that there's been. English, yeah, definitely. definitely. Yeah, and as well, <laughs> it's made by a father and son team as well. What the produced by? Yeah, written by. Wrote so, by, yeah. wrote by, yeah. That's crazy. Well, that's good though, <laughs> isn't it? Because it provides both perspectives. It's obviously very accurate because it's it's made you say that and it's made me think that as well. So, sorry, Rich, you went abroad. Yeah. It, well, it wasn't fantastic. Nice. No, it's fine. We can end it there if you like. Uh, no, no, we want to hear anyway, your story. No, we want to hear the. This is this is this is happy no, place. I'm, Danny we're not and happy Lee anymore. And the guy who. <laughs> we're not happy. We want to. Hear, we want to hear and then ridicule your story. <laughs> That's what we want to do. We want to pick apart it word by word. You've already picked it apart enough. No, we destroyed it. <laughs> we had no. a, we had a yeah, sandcastle kicking competition with it. <laughs> <laughs> we need we need to rebuild it and then give it back to you and say we're sorry and buy you an ice cream. So here you are, Richard. Here's the ice cream. Yeah. So tell us your story. Sick form. You go away to. France. Sick form. Hormones are raging through your body. You've gone away to France. Well, a, a normal, <laughs> a normal person would have their hormones raging through my body. <laughs> their uh, hormones uh, raging uh, through <laughs> your body. Okay. <laughs> See what you've done to me. See what you've done it's to fine. me. We may as well go back to the beginning and record this whole thing. <laughs> no, oh, carry man. on. Carry on sorry. Yeah, but I, I wasn't really like that at all. Um, Quite boring, you literally really. went and, to and eat the snails. That's what you went to do. That was your goal. Everyone else wanted oh, to yeah. f- a member of the opposite <laughs> sex, or at least a member of the same sex. You <laughs> literally just wanted to go to test the snails. <laughs> yeah. And the Eiffel Tower and see if it was actually made out of wood. Yeah, but like I said, we didn't get to leave the park because we wasn't allowed to. What park's that, Disneyland? Which. Yep. So what did you do? Wait. Which sucked. Well, basically, you walked around the park every single fucking day. How many days? After the after the seminar, it was like I was, le- I was there for a week. Really? Yep. So you know Disneyland better than anyone else, I expect. <laughs> oh yeah, I can show you all the nooks and crannies <laughs> of Disneyland. <laughs> the sly place where you'd like, <laughs> where you'd have a cigarette. But um, yeah, that's like <clears throat> the farthest I've ever been, apart from. Yeah, no, same, same. Island, and that's not really abroad. No, it's not as far as France. Um, okay, cool. I think we're going to wrap it up around about here because we've reached sort of our limit. Um, don't forget if you liked what you heard and you want us to continue, we will anyway um, because it doesn't (laughs) doesn't cost anything. Um, It's got nothing else better to do. It's got nothing (laughs) else better to do other than talk talk this. yeah. All day. We do it anyway, whether we're recording it or this not. This is essentially um, just a Skype conversation we've recorded. <laughs> we just happened to press record. Um, yeah. So if you liked it, hit like. If you like, if you want to subscribe to us, hit subscribe. So cool. I've been Lee, aka New Fan One One Two One. He's been Lee, aka Lee Kachu, aka Danny, aka Danny. And he's been Richard, aka Draven. Draven. Yeah. So uh, we'll catch you all on the next cast, which will be every Thursday, so don't miss it. Bye. 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 See you later.